What is it that happy retirees do well down in Australia? Hi there, if you're new to the channel, Jared Brown here, Australian expat financial planner based here in Singapore, working with Australians here to master their money and of course, plan for their retirement down in Australia or wherever it may be. Now, when we look at the data, we look at the studies, we look at the surveys carried out, the happiness of retirees has far less to do with their finances and far more to do with the decisions they're making on a daily basis and how much time they spend planning ahead of time for what their retirement is going to look like. So in this video, we're going to explore five common habits, traits, behaviors of the happiest retirees, what they're doing, what you should be thinking about, what we should all be thinking about when it comes to planning for our own happy retirement. Let's dive in. First and foremost, it's making sure we've got a plan, but staying flexible. We know life can change. We may move countries, especially as expats. Our finances may change. Our investments may change. Markets may change. Our financial needs may change. So it's important not only to plan ahead to make sure we've got that discipline savings, our retirement savings are on track, our finances are on track, but also maintaining a degree of flexibility in our retirement. Reviewing this every quarter or six or 12 months with your advisor, with your accountant, to make sure that we're on track, we're factoring in any changes we may need to make and still maintaining a comfortable retirement lifestyle based on what we want to achieve. So that is number one, having a plan, but maintaining a bit of flexibility. Number two is staying physically active and engaged. Now, as the saying goes, health is wealth. Whether you're playing golf or you're trekking or you're joining the local yoga club, whatever it might be, staying involved not only enhances that accountability, that responsibility, something to do, a bit of a, a regular routine in terms of what you do, but it's also that healthy body, healthy mind. It keeps us sharper, it keeps us feeling younger for longer, it prevents the onset of all sorts of psychological and uh, mental disorders that can take place in our later years. So having something that we enjoy, whether it's just walking along the beach or it's uh, playing veterans football, whatever it might be, something we enjoy, something we can stay committed to, and if it's part of a team or a community, all the better for it, because again, that's going to enhance our well-being in our retirement years. Number three is maintaining a healthy budget. Now we all know everyone hates the B word, whether we're working or we're retired, a budget can be annoying, can be a bit of a, a headache. We have to go and check how much we spent, check our credit card statements, check our bank statements, but it's something that happy retirees do very well. They're not simply spending money willy nilly, just spending random amounts, withdrawing random amounts from their super, from their bank account every month. They have a good idea of what they can spend, what this week or this month's allowance is on certain items. That gives them the confidence, the clarity that they're going to have enough money going forward and that what they spent this month isn't going to inhibit their life later on. So having that budget, having that clarity is something that happy retirees do extremely well. Number four is the accountability concept. So staying involved in the community or in the business community, whatever it might be, whether it's joining a, a local Rotary Club or Lions Club or getting involved in various volunteer activities, or even if it's consulting, sitting on for-profit corporate or even not-for-profit boards, it's having that accountability. You're accountable to a team, to a business, to an outcome. There is a team that is still reliant on your expertise. Studies continue to show this keeps us mentally sharp. Again, it prevents the onset of various mental and health disorders later on in life. And again, it's something that happy retirees do extremely well. We see the stories time and time again of various successful business owners who still look incredibly young, are incredibly sharp, well into their 70s, 80s, even 90s, and still very actively involved in their community. 
And number five, the thing that happy retirees do extremely well is they focus on experiences, not possessions. As the saying goes, you cannot take it with you. So focusing on those experiences, whether it's family or friends, whether it's having a barbecue together or it's traveling around the world together or it's taking a trip down south, up north, whatever it might be, it's those memorable experiences that are going to keep us sharp, keep us happy, and of course, give us something to look forward to. So making sure that we have time for these in our diary, we're planning ahead, we're setting the time aside to actually have these meaningful experiences as part of our lives. So there you have it, five common things that happy retirees do well. Hopefully, it gives you a bit of food for thought in planning your own retirement and how you're going to spend those later years in life. Any questions at all, drop me a note. Appreciate you taking the time to check out the video. Do remember to like, subscribe to the channel. See you in the next one.